What about pins for presents? What's inside the newest Zanini box? You know, as I stare across the room and can barely make out the calendar on the wall, I'm still reminded that we have a few weeks left before the big day. Now, if you are somebody like myself that procrastinates, tells myself every single night, I'm going to go Christmas shopping the next day. The next day comes around, you've had a long day at work, I'm going to go Christmas shopping the following day. Well, you only have so many days left. And instead going out and suffering through Christmas Eve shopping, why not do the next best thing, the simpler route to go? Go online. Go to Zanini Box's website. You can subscribe and get their subscription box delivered to the house of that special somebody in, their, in your life, a friend, a family member, every single month. They're reminded of how incredible of a person you were to subscribe to getting the Zanini Box delivered to their house where they can get pins, various different pins. Or... If you are somebody that has finished up your Christmas shopping, sitting down and relaxing and realizing the heartache is over, why not gift yourself the Zanini box? You can click it, the link down below again in the video description and subscribe today. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up this box. I always love getting this sized purple box in the mail, especially for the fact of this color. You always know when it's Zanini box versus maybe some of the other subscription boxes you may already subscribe to. I'm going to go ahead and take Chet Cunnington, my trusty knife. Gingerly, gingerly, gingerly. I'm going to cut the tape and avoid cutting my finger. I'd hate to go and spend the holiday season in emergency because I've sliced my finger open. Don't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. Gingerly. Well, I guess we don't have to be as ginger about it now. Opening up the flap like that and opening up the main box flap. The first thing we always seem to do... Oh, what's this? We've got, what is this? We've got ourselves magnets. Magnets. Use your magnet sticker set. Glue a part on the back of any surface, metallic or not. Then stick the part on the metal, metallic, a metal magnet part. Oh, my eyes. Metal magnet part and use as a magnet. That may have also equated the additional weight that I've noticed inside this box. What I was going to say is normally we always look at the trading cards. So what I may end up doing is I'll take the trading cards out first. I'm going to look at the cards. Then I want to beeline it back to these magnets. I'm curious of what's going on with these magnets. Let's open up the full sheet. And we sort of get sort of a sampling, a sampling of all the different cards available. There's ones from comics. There's ones from movies. And then down below, there's ones from video games. And then we've also got Enduro from Activision. I like the spawn. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. I am a sucker for Spawn, so if we ever get ourselves a trading card of Spawn, that's definitely going to be the first thing I'm going to pull out. We've got Spawn number two with rounded corners, so you don't have to worry if you're running with a card. Why are you going to run with a card like this? If it goes in your eye, I guess it could still do damage, but not as destructive damage as a cornered card. Ooh, that would be destructive. You would definitely be going to emergency, my, fr my friend. There's the artwork there. Very nicely clean and clearly printed. Then on the back, we've got Spawn number two, Image Comics, July 1st, 1992. Writer is Todd McFarlane. Cover artist is also Todd McFarlane. If you'd like to go ahead and scan that QR code, it'll take you to something. I haven't done it yet because we're literally just doing it right now. But usually after all these reviews, I always QR scan a couple of these to see whereabouts it takes me. And usually what it is, it takes you to a place where you can get omnibuses, where you can get actually like trade paperbacks. So that's always cool as well. So there's a... QR code for you to use at your disposal. So you get yourself a bunch of cards. I collect all of these, but the one thing I usually tend to do is, no, not I'm, I don't put the card back in. I mean, that goes without saying. What I usually like to do is I, I, I take all the cards out and then I group them. So like all the comics, I like take those out. I put them in, in sheets that only have the comics and I do the exact same thing with the movies and I do the exact same thing with the video games. That way I have like you know, all the same Z's, not same titles, but the same genre. And I do like to keep my cards in the same Z's category. But those are the trading cards. We're going to go put those down. Always like that we get those. Let's go back to these magnets. I'm really curious about these. I had said in one of the other unboxings of Zanini. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We have two sets of uh, pins. I thought all these were magnets. So I'm going to go pull this out because I, I really don't know what's going on now. 
so we got a sheet that tells us the stickers, but I don't know where the sticker sheet is, unless it's somewhere still in the box. I just assumed, I probably should have made such an assumption, but I thought all the magnets were inside here, and it turns out that we actually have pins. So if these are the pins, what's going on in here? More pins. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go with that. So the first pin we're going to have a look at is Papa Smurf. Who doesn't like the Smurf? Show of hands. Who doesn't like Smurfs? Anybody? I love Smurfs. Smurfs are awesome. Although when I was younger, and still I guess as, a, as an adult, I always want to pluralize Smurfs as Smurfs. You know, one Smurf, several Smurfs. I know that makes absolutely no sense. But that's a, that's a good looking Papa Smurf. What was your favorite Smurf growing up? I was like Vanity. I was like drawing Vanity with the little flower on the side of his hat. Brainy Smurf never really liked. Jokey Smurf, he was a joke. He was a jerk. I think my favorite was Vanity Smurf. But who's your favorite Smurf? Let me know down below. And no, pluralizing Smurfs is not Smurfs. I understand that. I realize that now. The next one we have is Movies, limited edition. And this is a Back to the Future pin. Who doesn't like Back to the Future? Show of hands. You, you, and you, you may leave right away. No, 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 don't, don't take the brisk. No, 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 don't take the brisk. Don't take the brisk. Just leave. You may go. Who doesn't like Back to the Future? Monsters don't like Back to the Future. Back to the Future. I like this one. I like that it has multiple colors going for it. Yellow, orange, another shade of orange, slightly darker orange, and red. Very nice. I like that. Let's see what else we have in here. This came to somewhat of a surprise. I really wasn't expecting to get more pins. We got Plastic Man. Plastic Man. Unless Zanini Box is shipping two months worth, now I'll have to go back and check my previous posted video to see if I actually had gotten last month's Zanini Box. I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. Anyways, there's Plastic Man right there. I like the shield that they put him in front of. Very heroic. It's not the most heroic of characters, but I do like the fact that they put him on a heroic shield. Let's see what else we have in here. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Always like the logo of, of Assassin's Creed right there. This one is slightly sharp, so you may not want to be running around with this, especially it's sticking up like this. It's very bright. It's kind of a, what would you call that? An aquamarine or teal color against a backdrop of black. That looks really nice. That looks schnazzy. What else do we have in here? Oh, we have one that unfortunately has been freed. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll get him, I'll get him. Uh, we have... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. These are all magnets. That would explain it. That would then go back to the idea that there was the sheet. So it's not actually pins at all. They're magnets. How about that? So essentially all you're really doing... Look at me discovering things. I love discovering things. I'm going to peel off the back. Not all the way, mind you. And it's adhesive. But what do I do now? Oh, okay. So it comes... The magnet is a separate piece, right? And then that sticks on that. And then you just stick it on the fridge. Oh, how clever is that? I'm discovering things. I'm discovering things, everybody. Nobody cares. So we got a bunch of magnets. Now, I had said when we had done, uh, you know, I think the previous month or so, I did had mentioned, and I guess that makes sense now, if I had only flipped it around, I would have noticed there was the magnet on the back and it wasn't sticking up like a traditional pin. I'm so silly. I'm discovering things. Uh, but I did say, though, that Zanini should really think to come included with, like, like if they gave you, like, the pin backs, you know, the things that go on the back of the pins, and then they flattened the end of it and made it into a magnet, you could use as a pin or you could use as a magnet. Now, instead, what they, we ended up getting is we got magnets, and then, then I guess we have pins in there as well. So now we have cards, trading cards. Now we have magnets, and now we also have pins. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on in this month's Zanini. Discovering things. Anyways, we're going to move on now to pin country. Uh, this is the insert. We don't want to look at that just yet. So the first official pin that we've gotten is Hawkeye. So is it possible? I'm just going to make an assumption right now. I, you know what they say about making assumptions. Where's my Hawkeye magnet right there? I don't know if we're actually getting a magnet version and then a pin version of the same characters. I mean, I'm basing it only the fact of the first pin that we're looking at. But yeah, it's obviously the exact same pin. Now, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to be... I don't know how to run a business myself, but 
I almost feel like, again, if they went only with flattening, if they produced a mold of just the back and it was literally like, I don't know what you would do. Like if the top part, the part that goes into the pin was also here as well, right? So it kind of looked like a dumbbell and then you put a magnet on the end of it. You could use the same backer as the pin stop and you could also use it then as a magnet. You wouldn't even need to really release you know, a pin and a magnet of the same character. But that's just just suggestion on my part. So I don't know. I guess all of these. Yeah, okay. So we've got the Assassin's Creed pin and magnet. Same. Okay. Uh, we also have, reaching inside, a Back to the Future pin. Plastic Man pin to go along with the magnets. And then we also have, I think that's it. No, no, there's one, there was one left in here which obviously would be Papa Smurf. And again, it's the, it's the exact same thing as we got with the magnets. Just this one has the pin on the back of it. Uh, we also have this little insert card. It says, hi, we have news. We've simplified our plans. Now we have cards, pins, and magnets. We've been working on this project for some time and we're very pleased to, pre to be presenting it this month. The new plans are available in our website. Uh, we will also bring you the Previous artwork items we will soon be uh, po we will post as soon as possible on our social media. All of our items will be official will be on our official uh, eBay store. Uh, there you can buy the products separately while they last. Uh, then there's also the eBay store. I didn't realize Zanini Box had an eBay store, but it's there. It's right there. It's right there. I'm learning stuff. Uh, we wish a Merry Christmas and a New Year for all, Zanini team. How about that? And then. No, it's not a cash check. Uh, then we also have, of course, the magnets, the actual pin breakdown. Uh, and of course, you're getting a pin and a magnet for each one of these. So the uh, the Back to the Future one we got, of course, yes, Papa Smurf, yes, Assassin's Creed, okay, and Plastic Man and Hawkeye, all for December 2020. And then for the cards, we got comics, Hulk, Action Comics, and Spawn, movies, Platoon, Rocky, and Ready Player One, and then uh, of games, which I don't know why they doesn't want to focus in on games. Zelda, Apex, and Enduro. How about that? Uh, the one thing I haven't noticed, though, is plan breakdowns. Remember before, they would always do, like, you know, basic, ultra, super ultra, and uh, and all that. I noticed here that we're only just getting a, a breakdown of the pins. So I don't know if maybe all plans are now going to include all five pins. If that's the case, that's really cool. Uh, but neat, interesting concept that the idea is that they, once again, let's go to Papa Smurf again that we're getting ourselves a pin and we're also getting ourselves a magnet. So if you don't necessarily like the pin, you can give the pin to somebody that collects pins and you can keep the magnet for yourself. That's not bad at all. Uh, or you can just be like myself and have two Papa Smurfs. You can never have enough Papa Smurfs. Or is it Papa Smurfs? That's not even true. Either way, guys, if you'd like to subscribe to the Zini Box, it, I could provide the link down below in the video description. It just so happened, the fact that we were looking at the Zanini box for December. I don't know why that's... There we go. Get that to focus. There we go. We were looking at the Zanini box for, of course, December 2020. Gift this to yourself. Gift this to a friend or family member. Any way you slice it, you're going to get collectible quality pins every single month. If you are also uh, new to the channel and liking all the content you're seeing, whether we're doing unboxing videos, we're also looking at figures, collectibles, and so much more, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. Turn the bell notification on if you haven't done so already. And if you haven't done so already, keep your peepers peeled. Ooh, that's gross. Keep your peepers peeled to this channel Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's when, of course, new videos will be popping up. And lots of stuff coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.